Uh, so we're stuck here? That's... Tom, did you know about this? Because you sent me down here to figure out what happened. And if no one can leave, how come I'm down here? Hey folks, welcome back to After Work Gaming. Tonight we're back in the Turing Test, and we are going into the next chapter. Now last time we had a very extended discussion with Tom about the morality of taking control of the crew, including Ava. Uh, and he was arguing that it was beneficial because he would always make the moral, i.e. logical choice, and uh, I at least was pushing back that that requires some sort of moral absolutism. Do you understand, Ava, what they found? Life? Eternal life. This is why I can't let them leave. These people can't be left here to die? Yes, they can. I mean, it's not right. Uh, okay, Tom, no response. Fine. So, uh, also, as as Tom is alluding to, we were in the bio lab before, looking at. I'll probably grab this from here, right? Right. Uh, we were looking at what they had uh, isolated. I think it's E. radiophilus is the name of the uh, organism, or the bacteria, or the virus, or or yeah, the virus. And let me go back to the body. Uh, and of course, Tom is concerned that whatever uh, it is, is is continuously regenerating DNA, and therefore it prevents aging. It's... Anything that comes into contact with the organism can never return to Earth. Anything? Ava, the ISA orders that you stop anyone leaving this planet. Anything that comes into contact? What about me? It may be airborne. So I am afraid that includes you. I'm stuck here? Tom? Um, <laughs> that's, that's not a not legitimate question. That's a serious question there, Tom. What do the red orbs do? Hold on. I don't think we... Oh, red orbs are like timed. Okay. Let's see. That, that has to run... Yeah, see, it's shrinking. Okay, so it runs down. Cool. And that one opens the door. Fine. Let's go ahead and run up here before it shuts off. Grab the orb, put it in the next one, and then go through the door. Uh, so we're stuck here? That's... Tom, did you know about this? Because you sent me down here to figure out what happened. And if no one can leave, how come I'm down here? I am sorry you are upset, Ava. How could you send me here to die? I have to stop the ground team leaving this moon. You are the ISA's contingency plan. You must help me. It is your duty to defend humanity. Is it, Tom? Uh, okay, hold on. And all the way over here. Ooh, and the box is there. And I would bet dollars to donuts. Dollars to donuts that I can't throw. <laughs> I can't throw to save my life. Uh, but... Ooh, 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 ooh. So an, a new twist on an old mechanic. Here we go. It's down. And... Positioning and run. Whoops. We gotta run a little faster, but uh, yeah, the elevator looks like it's up. Um, so... Go ahead and reset this, but we know what happens here. Uh, yeah, Tom. This is this this is this is going back to what he was talking about last time, I think, which is he was going on about how our altruistic side as humans is almost always over. I am just I'm getting all sorts of distracted right now. But no, our, he, his point was our desire to help others will always be or is almost always going to be overruled by our desire to save ourselves. There we go. And so what he is doing is essentially forcing us to not comply with biology and, you know, be altruistic, which is why he's, he goes after the, it's your duty to save humanity, rather than preserve myself. This is why they're afraid of you. Why they're hiding from us. Why? You're their captor. No response on that one, Tom? I mean, you kind of are. 
you're kind of the tool that makes them, you know, that keeps them here. So you are their captor. You are at least the jailkeeper here. Uh, okay, we got a little Tom robot here and a bunch of cameras and a time orb. Let's see how far we can get. I'm going to go ahead and say no. We need to probably move that. Yep, we need to move the blue. I mean, I, I don't know what I expected. I pretty much pretty much expected that. But um, let's just see real quick. Look at all the corners here. Maybe there's nothing here. Nope. Um, okay, so. What can we do? Hmm. Ooh. Okay, I like the music. It's nice and haunting. Um, oh! I know what we can do. Tommy, come over here. Yep. Alright. Tommy, uh, go ahead and go down. Thank you. Snatch the orb. And I suspect... Actually, no, hold on. Don't snatch the orb yet. Can we... Let's go back. Right? I have the orb. There's always a... Yeah, see? There's a there's a slot on your back. So let's go down here now. And... Oh! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. Um... I have an idea. So, what it looks like to me is that when I take an orb out from here, it'll show up on the back of the Tom of the Tom like robot, right? Exactly. So, put this here. And we can run the whole gauntlet. Now we have the red orb and all of these cameras are kind of, all these Tom terminals are sort of red herrings, but that's fine. Uh more importantly, again, we can't leave Tom. The organism they discovered. It hijacks DNA. It endlessly repairs it. Repairs? That doesn't sound like a bad thing. It is indiscriminate. It will perpetuate all life, diseases, cancers. We have no idea what it could do to Earth's ecosystem. So you would let the ground crew starve? I would. If they were not so preoccupied with leaving Europa. I do not wish for them to perish. I would feed and protect them if they were not so preoccupied with leaving Europa. So basically, they really want to leave Europa. Okay, hold on. So just real quick. These boxes are either junction boxes or, and here's the other one right here, right? This one looks like a switcher box. So I think if we bring Tom somewhere here, we'd be able to move... Now, the power coming from here would then go into these wires versus the power that eventually is going to come out from down there when we put the junction box. This probably moves. Yes. Okay. Um, how far down does it go? It goes all the way down. Perfect. Well, let's turn on the junction box and go back into Ava, or Ava rather. So Tom is taking a pretty cold view of these things, all right? So here it is. So the wire goes in here. If we bring Tom to the middle somehow, we can flip this so that the power comes from here to the extent that that matters. So let's see what's in this, because now we open the door. Uh-huh. Uh, okay, we need more orbs, because right now we just have the one. So let's see what the switch does. Redirects the power down there, turns off the power to open up this switcher box here, so we have a red orb now. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, I got an idea. Because now, check this out. Um, now we take... Right, because the power is constantly generated down there and it's being fed through this door, right? And now we put this here safekeeping. Uh, we go upstairs. Right, Tom comes down, but of course it's on a time delay, so we can switch. There we go. Now, 
We'll take this. We'll take the, the the time delay orb. We will put this here, right? Because we now have a switcher. So this is the thing that powers it. And of course, on a time delay, we can bring down the piston. And eventually it'll go back up because the orb will disappear. And there's a there's a, a, a negation switch there. So we'll take this orb. Uh need the blue there it is and we need this and now we have all three orbs we flip nope it doesn't actually help us oh I know I know I know I know I know I know hold on uh, we need to do the following uh, sorry about this guys it's just it's taking me a second to process this in my head flip the switch again Throw this there. Flip the switch. Let's go upstairs. Uh, we'll bring Tom all the way down. Because now we just need to reverse the steps so that there's always power going to the door. Which means that there's also always power going to the up-angled, like, wedge or whatever you want to call it. Alright, so now we'll have two of these. And we can take the blue orb, and what we do... Now, see, we always have power going here. We flip the switch, the door closes, and the ramp goes up, and we're here. And I suspect... Right, so the door opens. I suspect this is... Exactly. Whenever they're moving platforms, you got to figure out how to make them move, right? So, what do you have that's on time delay, or what do you have that's powered? And this is the only real way I can think of. Okay, moving on. I understand the risks. But we should save these people. Would you destroy the whole world to save a few? No, it, it's not that simple. Can't we just... Can't we just decontaminate the crew and instruments? The organism is an extremophile. It has developed to survive extreme environments. We don't know if we can ever decontaminate the crew. Hmm. It's worth a try though, right, Tom? I mean, you have the facilities down here, except, I mean, maybe they didn't have the facilities, maybe they did whatever, but the thing is, you have the facilities down here, if you don't have them down here, you definitely have them up on Fortuna. Yeah, so here's why, well, I can put it anywhere, really, but here's what I was thinking. Usually, the little Vs, I'm, I'm used to them being, um, use to be fair but the v's are ors they're an or symbol right so or 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 which means that any one of these can be powered and the door should open it's like i said it's basically a logic puzzle game it's a logic gate puzzle right again i'm used to use but this means and and since yeah all of them have ands we need to power every one of these Oops. Come here. Nice. Okay. So here we go. Now we have now we have several layers of logic gates. And this is an or, or, and, or, 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 and. Which means that we need to satisfy the conditions on only one of these pairs. And let's pick the simplest one, right? We need to so essentially here's the here's the logic. Uh, the logic test. Are any of the pairs satisfied? Door opens. Easiest pair to satisfy is this. It's a simple or uh, calculation. Any one of these powered, which will mean that the entire thing is powered. Otherwise, just so we're clear, I would have had to power both in this, right? Because it's an and. Uh, you know what? No, let's load up with all three just so that we know we can just straight go in here. There we go. Now we need to power all four of these, right? Because and, and, and. The logic test is R is, a, is one, and two, and three, and four powered or satisfied. So we have an OR gate, we have an OR gate, we have an AND and an AND. Power the ORs, which means we only have to power one in each. And let's pick up another two. Right, so that one's powered. We need one more. Oops. There we go. These are both. These are all now powered. Okay. 
Oh boy. Uh, okay, so we're going to do this again. And, and, and. Or, 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 or. Which means that all we need are these four. Because we all we need to do is power one in each to satisfy each of the or gates and then all the and and then the all the and gates are satisfied uh mm -hmm. now I'll level with you I'm not familiar with this symbol uh you know my my training is in mathematics not comp sci I did I worked on I well I worked I studied comp sci but I never That symbology doesn't work for me, or I, I'm not aware of that symbology. So let's try the following. Right? One, two, three. They're all closed. Fine. Um, could it be... Here's a thought. This is purely me not knowing, so I apologize for this. Could it be that it's one in each? Yes. So this symbol is one and only one. Okay. That's a little bit of a cheese. I apologize. I just, I don't know the notation. So I figured a little experimentation. All of them don't work. There's only one in each one. Fine. Okay. This looks like and gates, but... Is that what I think it is? I think... I may be wrong, but I think... That's a little squiggle mark. Now again, I'm used to, or a carrot mark. So again, I'm used to a slightly different notation here. But I think the little squiggle marks, because we haven't seen them anywhere else. Let's go back to the original AND gate. The one where it's all ANDs. Here we go. Yeah, see, there are no notations next to them. Okay. Now I suspect, I suspect I know exactly what's going on. The little squiggle essentially means not. So here it is. Not this one, this one has to be empty, and this one, and not this one, this one's empty, Th and this one, and not this one, and this one, and not this one, and this one. So, let's power the ones that have to be powered and assume, I think correctly, that this means not. So we just need one more. Where are they, where are they? Oh, perfect. And the perfect number, two. And there you go. And in fact, if you think about it, there it is. I say there it is. I, we, we really need a fifth to test this, but it's not. It's, so it's off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on. All of these have to be satisfied because it's all AND gates, and we're through. Now, is this necessary? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, but let's, well, right, because you can't pass through this with an orb in your gun, or with an orb in our, our matter manip or in our manipulator. Manipulator? I can't remember the name of this tool. I just, I've never said it. Uh, okay. Well, hold on. There's a staircase. Let's see what's up the stairs. Ah. Oh, and we can pick up stuff. So here, check this out. Yep. Just so, we, just so we're clear, we put any one, we put an orb in one of these not gates, or not uh, positions, and it closed immediately. So. All right, so we can get orbs from somewhere, which means we'll need orbs. Uh, let's see. I'm assuming this is also going to take us to another overlook. Feels that way, right? Okay, so this is the ands and the ors, so we have a full plethora of orbs. Uh, and... Is there anything? No, it's nothing. It's nothing. Okay. A little bit of one more orb and another set of gates and I think this one yes it controls that door okay so what do we have one and only one in these and one and only one in these and one and only one in these. okay so we need four it's it's a uh, three and gates plus four single input gates okay for lack of a better terms so that's what we need is let's go pick up three from here I don't think we'll be running back through here anytime soon. Okay, so we'll go here, we'll go upstairs, and then we'll just pick up the last orb, this orb from here. So here we go, one, two, three. We have a final orb. 
Boom. And the door opens. Okay, here we go. Europa. This... This is an art gallery. Okay. I'm not going to complain, I suppose. Don't lean on the glass. Leaning. Leaning. Okay. One's missing. Uh... I don't know what it says there in the red. Not surface, I think is what it says. Okay. All right. These are, I think, vaguely biblical scenes, right? Am I wrong about that? Are they biblical or are they Greek mythological scenes? Kind of hard to tell. There aren't, well, there are little cherubs. But then again, cherubs were adopted, I think, into the into the Judaic, well, at least the Christian sort of canon of, of uh, divine beings. I'm not really seeing anything mythological, but, but then again. Uh, the goddess Europa was given Talos. Talos, a machine man made of bronze, was made to protect the shores of her kingdom. I suppose there is nothing new under the sun. I know you're reading this tom she's not yours to protect she's ours uh that about me goddess europa was giving talos talos a man a machine made of man bronze was to protect the shores of her kingdom well there's nothing new under the sun i know you're reading this tom she's not yours to protect she's ours no it almost sounds like they're actually writing about Europa. And they're saying, Tom, you you don't have to do, like, you're not doing the right thing here, I guess. Hold on. Looks like to be another thing here. Uh, light is bright. Oh, here we go. And gradually she lost her fear, and he offered his breast for her virgin caresses, his horns for her to wind with chains of flowers, until the pl princess dared to mount his back. Her pet bull's back, unwitting, unwitting whom she rode. Then slowly, slowly down the broad, dry beach. First in the shallow waves, the great god set his spurious hooves. Then sauntered further out, till in the open sea he bore his prize. Fear filled her heart as, gazing back, she saw the fast receding sands. Her light hand grasped a horn, the other leant upon his back. Her fluttering tunic floated in the breeze. Hmm. I don't know the significance of that at all. The only thing I can think of is the pet bull. I believe it could be Minos, right? But I don't think that's I think that's wrong because obviously, uh, well, the story of the Minotaur is that King Minos is given a white bull, uh, whom he should sacrifice to. To say Neptune, but that's probably wrong. Uh, and he instead says, No, I want to keep the bull because it's cool. And so the gods get displeased and essentially uh, make it so that his wife has sex with the bull and then gives birth to the Minotaur. That's, I believe, the rough story. Ooh, here we go. That was weird. Europa 4561. And gradually she lent it, she lost her fear. Oh no, this is it. This is the same thing. Okay. What about this? Uh, I know you're reading this, Tom. She's not yours to protect. She's ours. So this... I can understand it being on the... Um, on the tablets, I guess. But this took time. This took time for them to carve, which... You know, okay. But... I'm a little concerned by just how long it must have taken for them to carve this thing out. But okay. Uh, like I said, the, the Europa one, a little bit more transparent, I think, than the one about the bull. Uh, the other thing I was going to say is a bull, I believe, is also one of the forms that Zeus takes in the, in the myths. But I could be wrong. I know he appears as a bunch of different animals, but bull, I think, is one of them. Um, that said, I 
think we'll call it there. When we come back, we'll we'll push on through. Looks like a Tom robot. Uh, we'll push on through to the rest of this chapter and whatever lies at the end of it. You know, whatever story-based room. Uh, if you like this episode, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend. Let's me know that I'm doing something right. Let's me know that you guys want to see more of this stuff. Uh, if you have any thoughts on the game, you think I missed something, you think I overlooked something, want to see something different, you know, by all means, leave a comment. Everything's welcome. And in any case, I'll see you all next time. Better, 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 better